want to turn your daylight photos into nighttime photos, here's a quick Photoshop tutorial. So we start by selecting the lasso tool here and marking out all the windows like so. This can take some time if there are quite a lot of photos like in this image. This is very useful if you do property photography and want to avoid those late night appointments. Obviously nothing beats the real deal and real life twilight photography will always look best. But if evening appointments aren't really a possibility for you and your client wants the shots quite quickly, which is often the case, then this is a great alternative. And remember, if there's a conservatory, don't forget to do the roof, otherwise it will look a bit strange. Once your windows are all selected, then go to the adjustment layers here and select solid color. Choose an orangey yellow colour and remember to copy the hex code here as you'll need that number in a minute. Next, double click on the mask here and it will give you your smoothing options. You can play around with the feather tool until the edges look a bit less sharp. Then you want to go to this drop down menu here and select blending options and then choose outer glow. This will make the light more natural looking. Click the colour here and paste your hex code so the colour matches and make sure the opacity is around 60% and the size is about 120, but you can play around with these depending on your image. At this point, you can play around with the opacity so it's not so harsh as well. Now select your background, go back to adjustment layers and select color lookup. Here you have a selection of LUTs which will alter the overall look of your image. I prefer night from day as it has a little more color to it and it's not just blue tones. And again, you can adjust the opacity to your liking. Now, obviously light leaks everywhere. So select the layer mask off the color lookup and select the brush tool, making sure your foreground color is black. Lower the opacity and the flow to make the brush a little bit more subtle and paint in where the light would naturally hit when pouring out of the window. Remember, whilst you can't see the side windows, they are still there. So paint in where that light would hit as well. Once you're happy, select the background layer again and go to edit, sky replacement and choose a sky that suits the image. There's lots to choose from, but this one is usually my go-to for twilight photos. Then you can mess around with the settings to make it look a little bit more natural. These settings will vary depending on your image. So just play around with what looks best. Finally, play around with the layer opacities again until you're happy and don't forget to merge all the layers into one once you're finished. And there you have it, day into night. <laughs>